be seated. By now, some of you have heard what happened in London. The target was a Starfleet data archive. Now it's a damned hole in the ground. 42 men and women are dead. One hour ago, I received a message from a Starfleet officer who confessed to carrying out this attack, that he was being forced to do it by this man, Commander John Harrison. He's one of our own, and he is the man responsible for this act of savagery. For reasons unknown, John Harrison has just declared a one-man war against Starfleet. And under no circumstances are we to allow this man to escape Federation space. You here tonight represent the senior command of all the vessels in the region. And in the name of those we lost, you will run this bastard down. This is a manhunt, pure and simple, so let's get to work. Earth's perimeter sensors have not detected any warp signatures leaving the system, so we know he can't be far. You will park your ships in a blockade formation, then deploy search vehicles and landing parties to run down every lead. This man has shown his willingness to kill innocent people, so the rules of engagement are simple. If you come across this man and fear for your life, for the lives of those nearby, you are authorized to use deadly force on What's in the bag? James, not now. It doesn't seem odd to you that he targeted an archive. It's like bombing a, a library. Chris, everything okay there? Yes, sir. Mr. Kirk is just acclimating to his new position as first officer. You got something to say, Kirk? Say it. Tomorrow's too late. I'm fine, sir. My apologies. Spit it out, son. Don't be shy. I, why the archive? All that information is, is public record. If he really wanted to damage Starfleet, this could just be the beginning. The beginning of what, Mr. Kirk? Sir, in the event of an attack, protocol mandates that senior command gather captains and first officers at Starfleet HQ right here in this room. It is curious Harrison would commandeer a jump ship without warp capability. 